Hey guys, it's Jakey, the Aldi Addict, and today I'm going grocery shopping. I'm going to share with you my haul the same day that I get it. I'm going to take you in the store quickly. There are some snacks that I'm excited to get this week that are in last week's preview, hoping my Aldi has them. And then how sweet. As soon as I pull in, this gentleman was leaving, and he pointed to his cart. He left it for me. It's also really cold, so you probably don't want to put it away, but I'm taking it as a blessing. I am a stay-at-home mom. I love to meal plan, and I really love to grocery shop, so I like to share with you guys what I get every week at Aldi. I love to have new ideas, and that's what I like to share with you guys, to give you guys ideas for your meals, to share what my family's doing, to hopefully inspire you for your home meals as well. So if you enjoy grocery shopping, meals, and planning for your family, or just yourself, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and stick around, I'd love to have you. And without further ado, let's get to Aldi. entire Aldi haul for the week. Loud kitten in the background. It's the usual nowadays. But I consider this a fill-in Aldi haul because I have a lot of components for my meals already on hand, so I didn't spend that much. If you want to take a guess, go ahead and take a guess. I'll tell you at the end what the grand total is. As we're going through for each component, I will tell you how much it costs at my local Aldi. I am in Southwest Michigan. I know that makes a difference for prices. Someone pointed out last week. So first of all, I got pita I'm gonna make, I'm gonna fry up this chicken and we will have like fresh pitas, kind of like a wrap type thing. I was gonna get wraps, but then I saw these with a dollar off. These were $1.85 and I didn't notice until I got home, they did not take my dollar off, so that's disappointing to me. Obviously I bought it because of the red sticker. I don't think it's worth going back to get my dollar today because we have kind of have a busier day. Um, the chicken I will fry up and then everyone can use their own sauce. I'll probably use ranch or we have Asian sauces, we have barbecue, honey mustard, whatever anyone wants to use. And this chicken was $3.49. So I have everything on hand like shredded cheese, I have um, onion to dice up, we have salad, we have lettuce that you can have. I have lots of toppings to make wraps so I didn't have to get anything other than the chicken and the wrap itself. But on the side, I will make this Asian chopped salad kit. We absolutely love having this. Everyone in my family will eat it really well. And it's $2.89, so you're paying a little bit for convenience, but for an entire side, it's not a bad deal. Next, I got these Everything Bagels. They were $1.49. I eat one meal a day. I do intermittent fasting. And even though I only eat one entire meal, I a lot of times open my eating window with a snack. And I wanted bagels last week, so I got them for this week. They still sound really good to me. And so it's $1.49 for the bagels, and then I got the chive and onion cream cheese, and that was $1.49. So I'll be eating this this week, and I'm sure my kids will want some, so I'll be sharing with them. My in-laws invited us over to watch the Packers play again this week, and the only thing I'm bringing are these pep the Pepper Jack filled pretzel bites. My husband was actually going to make homemade pretzel bites, but then we saw these in the ad. I also got these for Valentine's Day. They're super cute. They're 75 mini letters. So there's nothing on there, but you fold them and they're like perforated. And I thought they'd be super cute. Oh my gosh, the kitten. I thought they'd be super cute to write little love letters to my husband. So I got them, they were $4.99. And then they have these little, they have these little ceiling stickers, but it was $4.99. And they have like a giant pack that has 12 of them or these 75 little ones. And I'm just gonna keep these and tried to use them, but I thought they were super cute. White bread, because one dinner that we're having this week is called Grandpa Special, but basically I use a food processor, I shred a bunch of potatoes, you cook it with hot dogs, eggs, salt and pepper. It doesn't sound delicious, it certainly doesn't look delicious, but it's super good and very comforting. It's something my husband's grandpa used to make, and I now enjoy making it in remembrance of him, 
and it's a family favorite. I have actually made a video sharing Grandpa Special on my other channel. I will link that at the end. But the only thing I needed for that was toast or bread to make toast. So I got white bread to make toast with this week. Milk just for cereal. We have a leftover night and if someone doesn't like leftovers, they can have uh, cereal. So I needed to make sure we had milk for that. I bought nine pounds of rice, not to eat, but we make rice packs using flannel or 100% snuggly cotton. And we sew rectangular or square shapes and then we fill it with rice and you can microwave them. They're really good pain management. My daughter is having surgery this summer and rice packs were amazing help to her on previous surgeries, but her rice packs are very worn out and faded. So her and I are gonna make them together. She's nine and she has her own sewing machine. So together, which I did buy her sewing machine at Aldi, thank you very much. But together her and I are gonna make rice packs. If you're interested in a video on how to make rice packs, I think, I think I'm gonna share one on my other channel, but let me know in the comments if you think that'd be interesting to see how we make rice packs and how we use them but I bought nine pounds of rice to fill those rice packs with. Broccoli, I'm having this as a side for our chicken parmesan dinner. I have been looking for these pub style pretzels. My LD hasn't had them and finally this week they had them so I got, grabbed two bags. My husband and I really like these. It's a really yummy queso fresco. I got this because my 11 year old is going to make spiced potato taco. She just turned 11 yesterday which is why we have this festive tablecloth on our island for her birthday. Oh my gosh, cat. So she just turned 11, but she is making spiced potato tacos. It's one of her specialties. She's a vegetarian, so she loves to make potato tacos inspired by Taco Bell, yes. But I thought having queso fresco would be a yummy addition to that. So she's gonna chop all the potatoes, season them. I'm gonna make homemade corn tortillas, and then we'll have all the fixins for the toppings of the tacos. Again, we have pretty much everything. I have frozen guacamole. And then I did get these Taco Bell fire chips to have on the side, certainly not. Do you guys see that night? Oh my. Back to the grocery haul. These Taco Bell chips, obviously not something I would normally have every single week on a, as a side, but I've been wanting to try these. I've seen them in the Aldi Facebook groups and I love Taco Bell fire sauce. I love Taco Bell Doritos. So I had to get these as a side for our spiced potato tacos. Cornstarch, just because I have none, I almost am out in my pantry and it's just something I keep on hand for baking. My husband asked me to get any kind of cola that I could in a 12 pack, so Fago for the win. If you're not local to Michigan or the surrounding areas, you may have never heard of Fago, but it is like a Detroit, Michigan brand and something I grew up drinking. My nine year old saw these in the ad last week and asked me to get them. They were $1.95 for this pack, red velvet, basically Oreos. She's really excited about these. She was licking her lips as soon as I walked in and showed her them. I had to get crushed red pepper and parsley. I used both of these last week in cooking and I had to replenish. They were 95 cents a piece at Aldi, not bad at all. One thing that I'm making this week is a like poor man's version of chicken parmesan. I have leftover chicken parmesan tenders from last week's football extravaganza. I shared a video entirely on that, but I'm going to bake my chicken parmesan tenders with shredded mozzarella, which I already have, and then some red sauce. And then I will have just noodles and red sauce on the side with parmesan, super easy, but I needed to get parmesan and tomato, basil, garlic pasta sauce. I have been fasting for my church and not having sugary stuff, just me personally, for almost three weeks. It's over this week and it's something my church does Every single year you kind of give something up. It's called Seek for three weeks. Anyways, this Wednesday it's over and I wanted to make chewy fudge brownies, which has been sounding really good to me. And I have um, from my stocking from my dad, a box of Reese's Pieces. I love to make these brownies and put Reese's Pieces on top. It's super simple and very delicious. So I had to get that for later this week. Those are only 85 cents for that entire box of brownies. Of course, I already have the eggs, oil, and water on hand to mix with it. Rusted potatoes. I bought 10 pounds of potatoes last week or the week before, so I have a lot of potatoes, but I'm making shepherd's pie. I'm making spiced potato tacos, grandpa's special. All three of those are very potato heavy, and we're having poutine, and I'm making homemade french fries. So I needed more potatoes, basically, for all of those dinners on top of the ones in my pantry. But with poutine, I've never made it before, but when I made fried cheese curds, I wished I would have saved some of my cheese curds to make poutine, so I'm having it this week for dinner. I'm making homemade seasoned french fries. 
a brown gravy mix, and cheese curds. You basically pile it together. I think it's a Canadian dish. I've never had it, but I've always wanted to make it and try it. I'm debating the, between making it with the brown gravy mix or making homemade brown gravy, but probably for the sake of time, I'll use this brown gravy mix. We know we like it. Brown gravy mix is 30 cents. That was my least expensive item of the week. And cheese curds were $4.29. And five pounds of potatoes were $2.99. It was actually only $3.99 for 10 pounds of potatoes, but I just felt like that was too much potato in my pantry. Even though it killed me to not get the better value. Before we get to the meal plan, I thought I'd share with you some sneak peek finds. I thought this looked really interesting. It's a tone bar for tummy and thighs. Only $10 next week. I will probably be looking for that. I just got a kettlebell for Christmas. Otherwise, I'd probably be looking at this one. It's an adjustable 5, 8, and 12 pound settings. I think that looks really nice, but I don't need double. I really am interested in these wall plates that have night lights. I think those would be good in all of my kids' rooms and our upstairs hallway. So I'll be sharing those with my husband. And finally, I've been looking and waiting for these to come back to Aldi. They had them before, but I didn't have a need. And I have a need now in my coffee bar. I want one of these where I can put mugs underneath and then my coffee on top, a little more storage. So I'm looking for that next week. And then finally, $12.99 for a king sheet set. It has a flat, a fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. Um, I don't know about you, but that sounds like an amazing deal. Also, that is such a beautiful rug. I don't have anywhere for it, I don't think, but I'm going to be thinking on it. So those are my what I'm looking forward to next week from Aldi for my sneak peek. My Aldi comes out with new things every Sunday, which is why I shop on Sundays. Here's some stuff back here, but nothing caught my eye. Now we'll get to the meal plan. We are going to have poutine. I'll make homemade french fries. I have shepherd's pie that was on last week's meal plan. Spiced potato tacos my 11 year old to make. Grandpa's special. Leftovers or cereal, whatever people choose. Chicken wraps and salad. Salad is also available any other dinner. We are also going to have the easy chicken parmesan tenders made with noodles and broccoli. And if you are interested in seeing how I make grandpa special, you can check out that video right here. You can also check out my football special that I made earlier last week where I share a bunch of different snacks, ones that these pretzel bites would go really well with. Thank you so much for watching. Chow down and chow.